welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my 2015 Christmas book haul. So let's get started. So this might be going up a little bit late, but this is going to be all the books that I received for Christmas or bought by myself and just all the books that I basically got in December um, and Christmas and all that stuff. So yeah. I'm just going to get right on into this because I have a ton of books here and I want to be able to get through them. The first two books I got were Snow Like Ashes and Ice Like Fire by Sarah Roche. If you guys don't know what this is about, as much as I can gather, it's about this, this like world that is separated based on season and I actually don't know. So it seems like the kingdom of winter has been conquered and there's not a lot of people left from the winter kingdom. And so this girl named Myra? Mira? This girl named Mira um, is a refugee raised by Winter Inn's general and then she wants to finally take down the people who defeated the winter kingdom and bring back the winter kingdom. I think. I'm sorry, that was a terrible summary. But yeah, so I got these two books finally for Christmas. A ton of my friends have been recommending them to me, saying that they're really good, and so I asked for these for Christmas. The next book I received for Christmas was I Hate My Selfie by Shane Dawson. If you don't know who Shane Dawson is, he is a YouTuber here, and he is absolutely hilarious. Um, I love him so much, and when I saw his book, I read a little bit of it, and it cracked me up. And so I decided that I really wanted to get this, and I haven't read a lot of it yet. I've read some parts of it, and it's just hilarious. If you haven't seen Shane Dawson's videos yet, definitely go check him out. He's really funny. Next book I got is something I am really, really, really excited about, and that is Untamed by A.G. Howard. This is the bind-up of some novellas from the Splintered series, and there's three novellas in here, and there's actually an epilogue novella, which is the longest. It, like, follows the characters after the end of the last book, which was Ensnared. If you don't know, Splintered is a retelling of Alice in Wonderland, and it's really freaking awesome, and it's one of my favorite series ever, and definitely go check it out if you like Alice in Wonderland or if you like fantasy, because it's honestly great. And these are the novella bind-ups, and I wanted this so badly, and I'm so happy that I finally got it. I need to read this very soon. And look at the cover. The cover is so pretty. My god, the cover. The cover is beautiful. The next few books I received for Christmas were the first three books in the Raven Cycle Quartet, which is The Raven Boys, The Dream Thief, and Blue Lily Lily Blue. That's a mouthful. Oh my gosh. So I'm actually not sure what this series is about. But as far as I can gather, it's very good, and people don't really know how to explain it. I know the main girl's name is Blue. Apparently, in there, these raven boys who apparently are awesome, and it's not romance-heavy, apparently. That's what I've heard. I don't really know, but I really need to get on this series because everyone seems to be reading it. And yeah, so I got the first three, and the fourth one, I believe, is coming out either April or May or something. They keep pushing back the release date, so I don't really know. But yeah, the next few books I got were the ending of the Lunar Chronicles. I already, so I have Cress, Ferris, and Winter. So Cress is the third book. Ferris is apparently a prequel, but you should read it as a 3.5, I guess. And then Winter, which is the fourth book. I already have Cinder and Scarlet, and I've read both of those, and I really wanted to get the rest of this series because everyone was going crazy about winter. This sticker's really bothering me. But I got the Target edition of Winter and it has this beautiful fan art in it, which is glorious. Um, and so yeah, if you don't know what the Luna Chronicles are about, they are a collection of fairy tale retellings and they're really awesome. The first one's called Cinder. It's about a retelling of Cinderella, but Cinderella's actually a cyborg mechanic. And it's honestly great. Everyone was going absolutely crazy for the final book's release this November, so I had to pick up the rest of the series, obviously. The next book I got was Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. If you haven't seen this book yet, it's absolutely gorgeous. Ready? Ready? Oh, this is the hardcover. It's so freaking... 
freaking beautiful. I'm just gonna hold it like this. This is the hardcover of Illuminae and it's told up in this like really cool format in just like emails and text messages and secret files and everything and it just looks so cool. Whoever designed this book is an absolute genius. Props to them. They are absolutely fantastic. Whoever came up with the design for this book because I wasn't going to read it until I saw the cover and it was so beautiful that I had to have it. So as much as I can gather, it's a sci-fi about these two people, Katie and Ezra, and the day that Earth or their planet is invaded, they break up, and then their planet is invaded, and then all this stuff with spaceships, and I'm not really sure, but I am extremely excited to be getting into this one very soon. So the next set of books I got is actually a trilogy, and that is the These Broken Stars trilogy. So I have These Broken Stars, This Shattered World, and finally Their Fractured Light, all by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. So if you don't know, this apparently has been advertised as a kind of a Titanic in space thing and I know they're all companion novels so they're not direct sequels to each other but they're in the same world and I heard mixed things about the series some people love it some people hate it and I absolutely adore these covers um, so if I don't like the series at least I have these beautiful beautiful covers especially the last one because I mean come on these are so pretty so the next book I got I am very excited for and that is The Illustrated Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. And I've been looking for a good uh, Sherlock Holmes book. I've not been able to find any good ones. I've been able to find humongous ones but the font is really tiny. And so my mom saw this at the bookstore, and apparently it's ten of the best Sherlock Holmes stories that Arthur Conan, Arthur Conan Doyle actually picked out himself as the best ten. And so he put them in this blind up, and it actually is illustrated, and the illustrations are really pretty. And I just am so excited to get into this because I've been wanting to read Sherlock Holmes forever, and now I finally have a beautiful bind up edition. So now for the part of the video to where I haul all of my Cinda Williams Chima books. So I have heard absolutely amazing things about Cinda Williams Chima. I read her first book in the Air Chronicles uh, just a few months ago and that was The Warrior Air and I really loved it. It wasn't the best but I was really looking forward to moving on and so I told my mom how everyone was saying how Cinda Williams Chima is the bomb and she actually ended up getting me the rest of the Air Chronicles starting with The Wizard Air, The Dragon Air, The Enchanter Air, and finally The Sorcerer Air. All by Cinda Williams Chima obviously. So this I'm just going to hold up this. Oh, okay, there goes my books. So if you don't know, the Air Chronicles follows different people. So in this world, there are, I think, five, maybe six different tiers of magical people. There are warriors, wizards, oh geez, what else? Dragons, sorcerers, and enchanters. And I think there's also seers, um, but there's not a book on them. Um, and basically this follows a different person from each of those magic things. And yeah, so I got the rest of the series now and I'm really, really excited to carry on. I heard that this series is really good and the covers, again, are just beautiful. And that's not a Realms series. I'm not going to take them out because I'll probably kill myself if I do. But it has, oh geez. The Demon King, The Exiled Queen, The Grey Wolf Throne, and The Crimson Crown. And this is a quartet of her Seven Realms series. I think I already said that. And I really don't know what this book, these books are about, but I know it's high fantasy and I'm excited! And again, Cinder Williams Chima, I've heard, is fantastic, so that just makes everything better. Oh jeez, I forgot about one! Oh no! So I just remembered actually another one, and that is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. This beautiful, beautiful red edition of the text. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is the Penguin Drop Cases edition, and I got this from my grandma for Christmas because she knew how much I love Pride and Prejudice, and so she got me this beautiful, beautiful edition, and I'm very thankful.
So yeah, that was my Christmas 2015 book haul. I am very thankful for all the books that I received. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Comment down below any books that you got for Christmas. And I'm sorry this is kind of late. I've been busy with school stuff and all kinds of crap. So thanks for watching. Subscribe and like this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Goodbye. Focus on me. Ba, 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 focus on me. Oh no. Why did I pick the heaviest ones?